this video will show you how to perform a spectral line mixing in FCS Express 7. From the Tools tab, open the Compensation and Unmixing dialog. Add a new unmixing definition. In Step 1, add controls. Be sure the data files and labels match. Labels will be used to name the unmixed parameter once the unmixing will be applied to your data. Labels can be customized. For each data file, select the sample type. Available sample types are sample, negative control, and out of fluorescence control. Multiple negative control and multiple out of fluorescence control can be defined. Each sample can be set to use one of the listed negative control or to use self as negative. If out of fluorescence as to be evaluated, out of fluorescence control can be loaded in step 1. Label must be customized for out of fluorescence control. The sample type should be set to out of fluorescence control and the negative control should be set to no negative. In step 2, select parameter for the scatter gate. In step 3, Select the parameter to unmix. Usually, it's the full spectrum. Histograms, density plot, and spectrum plot for the data will be automatically created. To get started, click on the scatter plot page and make sure the scatter gate is properly placed at least on one of the plots on this page. Do not create any data specific gate on this page. There will be chance to do this later on. Review all the subsequent pages to be sure that the scatter gate and marker is appropriate. If needed, the scatter gate can be made a data specific gate through the gating tab. Markers can be resized directly. When all the pages have been properly reviewed, the unmixing metrics will be accessible in the compensation and unmixing dialog. As soon as the unmixing matrix is calculated, a graph depicting all the normalized spectra will be accessible in the visualized mixing matrix page. Also, the spillover spreading matrix and the cross staining index matrix will be accessible. If any change is made to gates or markers, the unmixing wizard will automatically be recalculated. Also, if any change is made to the unmixing wizard, for example, a sample is removed or added in step one, only the object referring to that sample will be added or removed. The mixing matrix is now ready to be used in this or other layout. To export the unmixing matrix, select the matrix and click on export the selected unmixing. Select the output data folder, type the output file name, and save. The unmixing matrix can now be loaded into a new layout and used to unmix your data. Once the matrix is saved, we recommend saving the layout you use to calculate it as well. The layout file will contain all the plots and the gates used to create the matrix, and it's a useful resource in case you want to calculate the unmixing matrix in a different way. When you're ready to perform the analysis, open a new layout, open the compensation and unmixing dialog, and load the unmixing definition of interest. A quick way to automatically apply the unmixing matrix to your data is to right click on the unmixing matrix and set it as default. After this, please double check that the layout option for the current layout are set to prioritize the unmixing matrix set as default. The unmixing matrix will now be automatically applied to any new data loaded into the layout. We can now open the data list, load the data of interest, open a plot, 
as you can see through the suffix in the plot title, the unmixing matrix is applied. The unmixed parameters are now available in the parameter list with the suffix ordinary least squares. Said suffix can be customized in the option tab of the unmixing matrix in use. You can now continue analyzing the data as usual in FCS Express. If you have any question, please email us at supportednovosoftware.com or visit our website.